Hello everyone, and welcome back to Let's Play Paper Mario The Thousand Year Door, Unmethodical Destruction. And today we are going to be continuing the game by uh, going under this fallen tree with our newfound ability to roll into a wad of paper. And um, yeah, that's basically all there is to it. So now we have our first obstacle here, which is uh, easily blown away with Madame Flurry. And I believe there's something... Yes, there is. There's a star piece there. I knew it. Usually, nine times out of ten, there will be a star piece behind a warp pipe, so it never hurts to just quickly check behind it to see. Uh, but anyway, we are now entering into the woods, and there are some new enemies in here, such as this one, and this is a Crazy Daisy, which is a kind of funny name. I like them. They're cute little enemies. Uh, but there's also another offshoot of them, which we may or may not be seeing. Uh, we'll see what happens. But right now, you're going to have Bella Tattle on the first one. And, and you can see their name is, even their name is spelled crazy. But uh, basically, they have a singing attack that will um, hurt you and put you to sleep. And they'll also run away after you've done a certain amount of damage to them. So it's usually best to take care of them as quickly as possible. So see, like, right there. This one is going to do the singing attack. And, and unfortunately, I cannot hear the audio, so um, I'm defenseless against it. But it missed because of the fog, which is very good. And now Mario and Goombella can take care of this crazy daisy very easily. And that's that. Pretty easy enemies, especially if your attack is high. Uh, but still, you want to watch out for the sleep attack, otherwise you're going to be in for a world of hurt. Uh, here we got some coins. It's always good to have more coins. I think the maximum in this game is 999, so try not to stock up too much. Oh, there we got an earthquake, which is a very good item as well. And, uh, I believe that there are no more new enemies, so I will see you guys after this fight. So, we've taken care of that crazy daisy now, and we can continue on. Uh, this is a very short, um, area. You're mostly gonna be backtracking when I'm going through here. So, um, we're gonna be seeing a lot of the same areas. And now we have another new enemy. Uh, we might have actually fought this one in the Glitz Pit, I don't remember, honestly. But, um, I'm just gonna keep commentating anyway. Just so you guys can see what it is. I believe I would have tattled on it if we had seen it, so... Uh, this is a spiky hyper cleft. And, uh, basically they're like the hyper variant of Goomba. You already can kind of guess, based on the other enemies, what this guy's like. And, uh, there's a very easy way to take care of him. We're gonna use a Quake Hammer. Which, uh, renders him defenseless. And now all we have to do is jump on him, and he can never attack us. Or I believe we can't, but actually we need to tattle on first, so let's go to Zumbella. And we are going to tattle. And there we go. And yeah, there's really nothing to explain with these enemies. You basically already know what they are if you um, have seen the other hyper enemies. So uh, we're just going to jump on him, hopefully, or not. Oh boy, come on, please be able to jump on him, Zumbella. Yes, there we go. Okay. So that was taken care of pretty easily. No need to worry about him. Although you will want to worry a little bit. And uh, we're actually close to leveling up again, which is very good because um, Mario's running a little bit low on HP. I think I'm going to raise my HP, actually. And uh, there we get Hammer Throw. There's also a Shine Sprite hidden in the woods. I believe I missed it, uh, but we'll have an opportunity to get it again. So uh, what you want to do here is you want to blow with Madame Flurry and it will reveal this thing. And we're kind of in a glitched area. We're going to want to go back a bit and... Uh, game? Okay, there we go. Jeez, that's really finicky. But now we just go through here and out the other side, and bam -o. And I believe there are more enemies here that we are going to be encountering. Uh, so let's just continue on. I think this is where the Shine Sprite is. Is it here? I can't remember for some reason. Oh, uh, anyway. But now we have a rock blocking our way, and so we will use Madame Flurry again. She's actually used a lot in this area. It's kind of strange. It's probably her most useful area uh, because of how many things there are to blow down. And uh, basically we can push this block rock, which somehow pushes that rock. Don't ask me how that makes sense because it doesn't. And uh, I don't believe there's anything else back here. Um, yeah, okay. So now we just continue on. We go down this hole to come up through the other hole. And we have a cleft, which I stupidly jumped on. Uh, but I'll see you guys after I've dealt with these guys. 
and now we get a level up. So, I'm not sure what I'm going to choose to increase. I think I said HP before. I think I will actually go for HP, I am. A eh, good amount of badge points. Could be higher, but not a big deal. So we're going to go HP, because uh, Mario's HP is a little bit low, and we're starting to get crippled by it. So 25 should be a nice, happy medium. And uh, is the Giants right here? Yes, it is! Okay, good. So I was worried we would miss that, but we didn't. And now we are at a new area, Creepy Steeple. So we have a heal block here, we don't need it because we just leveled up, which is good. I think there might be some stuff in these trees, but uh, not that one. Maybe some inside. Uh, the only way to get in there is by using the paper tube ability to go through this section here. And I know there is a star piece here somewhere, and uh, we're going to quickly find it. I think it's over here, maybe. Uh, I know it's here somewhere. I am absolutely sure. Cause Oh yeah, it's probably against the fence. Uh, there we go. Okay. And uh, what we can do now is we can actually break the chain off, so now we can enter through regularly uh, if we ever come here again. And uh, now we get to go inside, so let's see what's here. Well, this place is nice and creepy. Uh, one first thing you can do, and you'll want to do, is go inside this area here. It's kind of hard to see, but uh, it is here. And we get some items, one of them being the Ice Smash. And then another item which we will use for an upcoming trouble, which is the cookbook. A Shine Sprite, and if you can see it, a Star Piece. So it is very worth your while to go inside there. Very good items, and uh, it'll save you backtracking in the future. So I would highly recommend it. Now you have these doors here. Um, there's no point going in them right now. What we're going to want to do first actually is... Uh, push this statue forward and uh, then we'll fall through the floor here which is good though we actually wanted to do this um then we have another secret with madame flurry again she's getting a lot of good use which is good for us uh, i guess i don't know it's good to use all our partners and we just go through here and at the very end of the tunnel we have a treasure chest with flower saver which um isn't the greatest badge it's okay if you use a lot of fp it's good but I don't find it to have a lot of benefits. Uh, now we're just going to go through this door here. And uh, we have a little box here. Let's see what's inside. Whoa, shit. That was a lot of booze. Uh, okay. Uh, maybe 200? Well, that was nice of him. What a nice guy. So we got an Ultra Shroom out of that. The answer is always going to be 200. So um, keep that in mind. I'm even amazed I remember that because I have not played this area for months. Uh, but I am a huge nerd for this game, so that's not surprising. Uh, that's the only reason we actually needed to go down here right now. Because um, now we're going to go through the doors there. Or actually, there's this guy here. I forgot about this. So let's see what he has to say. Yes, I am. Okay, let's say no. We're gonna be serious this time. Holy crap. Oh boy, so that's where all the booze went. And they're all spinning? There is actually a mini boss we're gonna be fighting here. Um, we just gotta wait for some booze to get on us. Uh, basically, though, if you let them go, they're going to take you out of the steeple, which you don't want to have happen. Uh, but, because we've now hurt them a bit, uh, this happens. Holy crap. So now we're fighting the Atomic Boo, which is a interesting enemy, an optional enemy, I might add. You don't need to do this to advance the game, but uh, I like to fight him because he um, gives you a good amount of experience. So first we're going to tattle with Lubella, and uh, basically the Atomic Boo has a couple of different abilities that are pretty cool. 
like um it can scare you which will paralyze you and like umbella is saying it can also smush you with like a stomping attack uh so it's a very interesting enemy and one that i would recommend you guys fight it also gives you a special item after you beat it i forget what that item is so um we'll see when we beat it i suppose uh let's see what are we going to use here uh don't really need any items uh we'll use power look that's always a good move to do and it will give uh, Mario and Goombella a much needed boost. I'm going to try to go for mostly attack. That's what I always do when I do this. Uh, okay. okay, so far so good. And excellent. So we got three attack and two defense. So now we're more than ready to defeat the Atomic Boo unless he crushes us like that. Oh, uh, we're gonna do multi bomb. That should do some good damage to him. As long as I don't mess it up like I just did. Oh god. Okay, let's do shrink stop. That should always. That's always a good decision choice thing to do. And are we gonna get healed? Yes, we are. Wow, that was fantastic. And now Goombella will be back at full HP. So that's great for us. And we get a full crowd. I think this is the first time on camera you guys have seen the 100 boot crowd. Uh, so that's always great. And. Now he's getting ready to do his confusion attack, so we're going to want to take care of him as soon as possible. Unless we fuck up like that. Oh, that's great. Oh, uh, we're going to do spin jump, even if we might miss. And we did. But he might miss his attack too, so... Whoa, crap. Well, that wasn't too bad, actually. And now he's back to full big boo form. And we've lost our extra attack power, which is just great. Uh, let's do another spin jump. Let's try to get that to work. Okay, good. Now he only has 2 HP left, so we are very close to defeating him. And, uh, that was stupid, Big Boo, because now you're dead. And that's it. Not a hard fight, but it is a kind of prolonged one. But, uh, if you're smart about it, you could probably take him out in less than five turns. And here is the badge I was telling you about, or the item, rather. Lucky Start, which makes something good happen when you enter battle. It's okay, but you don't really need it. And now we're going to enter into this first door here. And uh, we'll have some new enemies, actually. These guys. They're pretty easy to jump on, so uh, it's pretty good to get a first strike in battle, like I just did. Uh, but now we're going to have a little tattle on them. We're going to want to get rid of that one with the mushroom, because he's going to end up healing his ally if we don't do that. So yes, this is a swooper. Uh, he, this enemy, I believe, originated from Super Mario World, and, uh, like their name suggests, they will swoop down and hurt you, which is never a fun, but, uh, they're enemies, so that's what they're there for. And we took care of that guy easily, so now that guy won't use his mushroom, and we'll just be able to get him... Oh, that was stupid. Uh, now the thing is, we can't jump on him directly, so the only way we can actually take him down is if we have a partner that can get him from the raptors. So for this, Madame Flurry is actually very useful, which is kind of funny because I said before that I don't think she's a useful partner, but actually she is very useful for this uh, stage of the game here, so um, if you want to get the swoopers down with her, then that's a very good plan because it takes zero FP, uh, and that's what I would recommend, so yeah, and that's it. Battle over. I believe there's one or two more in this area, so um, it's not the last we'll be seeing of them, like right here. Okay, so now that we've taken care of Swooper, we can, uh, we could hit that switch if we wanted to, and, uh, I believe we actually, yeah, we do want to hit that switch, actually. So we're gonna do that now. Uh, I find this an interesting concept, because basically what this switch will do is, it will move that staircase that we just saw in the direction of the switch, so it's now moving towards us, not away from us. Which is, um, it's good because that's what we wanted to do, actually. So now we're gonna go up this staircase here. And uh, basically what we're going to do is we're going to find a key here that we will need, I should mention. Um, there's a boo. I think this is actually the first time we've fought regular boos, um, if I'm not mistaken. Maybe we did in the Glitz Pit. Like I said, you fight a lot of crap in the Glitz Pit that I don't remember, but nope, this is our first time finding one. So we are going to have Goombella tattle on the first one here. And a boo, it's basically like you expect. They're kind of like they were in the original Paper Mario. Uh, they can turn their allies invisible, in, well not really invisible, more like invincible because they're invulnerable, which can get a bit old. And then they also have that tongue attack there that can I think sometimes like paralyze you. Um, but they're actually a pretty easy enemy. 
except when they make their allies invulnerable. That's the only really annoying aspect of the boo. Otherwise, they're not much more difficult than your standard Goomba. So uh, that was a pretty easy fight, actually. We got some coins, and there are more boos on that side, and we're actually going to be going to that side later. But uh, what we're going to do right now is we are going to switch to Coops, and we're going to get the key, because we actually want to go through that door. And now we're going to go back to where we were, and... Uh, basically, we're going to make the staircase go over to that side so that we can get to that locked door. And uh, we're actually closely approaching the boss of this chapter, so... As you can kind of tell, this is a shorter chapter than you might expect. Um, there are also some enemies that um, are on this side, but I'm not really interested in fighting them just because uh, I don't really need the experience. But hit that switch twice, and the staircase will move over to where we want it to be. If you move it to the middle, I believe what will happen is you'll just fall. Uh, we're actually going to go through here, though. And through here is... Nothing! Well, actually, no, that's not true. There's actually a tree here that will give you this golden leaf, uh, which we will actually need for a trouble later. So we're actually just going to throw out this mushroom. We don't really need it. And uh, we're going to go back. We're probably going to have to fight the swooper now. Uh, but maybe we can avoid it. I doubt it, but yep. Okay, so see you guys after the fight And now that he's taken care of we're gonna go back through the door and we're gonna go up to the locked door And there is a boo on the way. I think we're gonna skip it Although if we if I do decide to fight it, that's obviously not gonna be shown on camera, which is fine uh, so Let's see there he is now. We're gonna avoid him definitely Yeah, definitely is the word and uh, now we're actually at the locked door, but I'm going to call it for this episode. I believe this was a bit longer than average, but that's good because I haven't had... There hasn't been an update to this series in a while. So, in the next video, we are actually going to go fight the boss of this chapter. And uh, we'll go from there. So, I thank you all for watching. I'm Methodical Destruction, and I will see you guys next time. Bye.